Hi everybody, today on Rachel Cooks with Love, I'm gonna be showing you how I make my own personal favorite tuna salad. Now the beauty of this recipe is that it's delicious and hearty and so versatile. And today I'm gonna show you how I make it, step by step. Let's get started. So these are the ingredients that I'm gonna be using today to make my favorite tuna salad. I have two five ounce cans of solid white albacore tuna packed in water. Now this is the kind that I'm using but you can use the regular light tuna. That's the one that's a little darker. Now I like to use the white albacore tuna because it's not as fishy, but you go ahead and use whichever kind you want. I'm gonna use half of a pink lady apple. Any apple will do as long as it's crispy and sweet. I've got six ounces of medium sized shells, two thirds cup of finely sliced celery, two thirds cup of freshly shredded carrots, one third cup of finely chopped red onion, one fourth cup of finely chopped orange bell pepper, and I have one third cup of cooked peas. And for my dressing, I'm gonna be using half of a cup of mayonnaise, one fourth cup of sweet pickle relish. Now you can use the regular dill relish if you don't wanna use the sweet kind, but the sweet is just a very good balance with the rest of the ingredients. And pepper is needed, this is freshly ground. And I'll be using about a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of Dijon mustard. These are the ingredients that I'm gonna be using today. Now let's get started. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is cook my pasta. As you can see, the water is boiling. I'm gonna add my salt, and now I'm gonna add my pasta in here. Now you wanna stir it often because you don't want them to stick, see? And you wanna follow the directions on the back of the package. Now I like to cook mine for about 11 minutes because I like them nice and tender. After they're cooked, you wanna drain them well and rinse them with cold running water. And then we'll be moving on to our next step. So I've got my pasta ready, nicely rinsed. Now I'm gonna prepare my dressing. This way the flavors will come in together while it sits by the side, see? So I've got my half a cup of mayonnaise. I'm gonna add my sweet pickle relish. Now my one teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Now I like the Dijon mustard in here because it adds a little bit of that zing in there combined with the sweetness of the sweet pickle relish. Now the pepper, you can add as much pepper as you want. We like a lot of pepper in our dressing. And I'm gonna add my salt. That's about a fourth of a teaspoon. I'm gonna mix it all in together like this. See, very easy. Now I'm just gonna set it by the side until I'm ready to use it. I'm gonna chop my apple. I'm gonna use about half. Now you can peel it if you want, but I don't peel it. I just leave the skin on. I think it's crunchy and it's delicious like that. And then I'm gonna slice it up like this. I'm just gonna cut it the long way. And then I'm just gonna chop it up. See, I like the big chunks of apple like this so that you can really pick up on the flavor of it. I'm gonna put it right here into my bowl. And now I'm ready to put my tuna salad together. So I've got the tuna in this bowl right here. I'm gonna add my orange bell pepper, the peas, the red onion, now the carrots. I bet you can almost taste it. All these flavors together is gonna make it a winner. Trust me on this one. Now my celery. Now I'm gonna add my pasta and my apples. Ooh, I love the apples in here. Now, if you don't wanna use apples, you can also use the sweet grapes, seedless. Here, you can even add pecans, delicious with pecans. I'm gonna give it a good toss. Oh, look at this, see? Now I'm gonna add my dressing. Get it all in here. Now I'm gonna give it a good toss. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add a little bit more pepper. Oh man, this is gonna be so good. So I've got this nicely tossed, see? Oh, it's delicious. I'm gonna show you how we like to eat this. Now I've got some sweet butter leaf lettuce right here. 
You can use romaine or any kind of lettuce that you like. I think this is crispy and very light, and I think it looks pretty on a plate. I like to put my lettuce like this. Now I'll get some of my delicious tuna salad. You can put as much as you want. Usually about three spoonfuls is good, see? And I've got some toasted baguette bread here. I just sliced it up, put a little butter, and toasted it in the oven 400 degrees until it was nice and golden. See? Mmm. Now it's time for the taste test. Now the good thing about the butter leaf lettuce is you can make you a little taco and roll it up if you want. See, it's light. Now we can enjoy this. Mmm. 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 See, for the crunch. Mmm. And then some iced tea. Mmm. Mmm. You can enjoy this any time of the day. And it makes fantastic leftovers. No cooking, but a fantastic meal. I know you're gonna love it. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Send me a comment and tell me what you think. Thank you.